Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 11 of the Leap Go January uh, challenge or whatever. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem. Minimum time to collect all apples in a tree, 1443. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, what is the minimum time to uh, find this tree? Oh, geez, there's, there's too many, too much mess on my table. Okay, so let's see. What are we doing? So this is you have, you're given an edge list. You have one second row, one edge. We turn the minimum time. We have to spend all the apples in the tree, starting at vertex zero and coming back to this vertex. Okay, so okay, so in in a way, this is greedy. Um, in that, um, in that you have to visit all the, um, hmm. how do I formulate this in a way? I mean, so first of all, because there's no, there, there are no decisions, right? You have to go visit every node. I mean, and of course they, you know, given it, so, um, in a tree of N nodes, there's going to be N minus one edges. So there are really no decisions, right? Because there's only one shortest path from every node to every other tree. Uh, sorry, from one node in a tree to every other node in the tree, right? Meaning that, you know, in this example, going from zero to four, um, going from zero to four, there really no other path. And then from four to five and so forth. And then the idea here is that you can do a recursion because um, and we have to be careful about it because for example, in this case, you don't want to go further than the two, but but it's still true, meaning that if there's a um, there's an apple in that direction, you have to go to it, right? There's no like from like you could think of, and this doesn't. I think this, um, yeah, this is an edge list, so it doesn't have to be a binary tree. So, but for each children, if there's a node, you have to take that path, right? And then I think voting off that, you can use a recursive properly to, you know, um, go all the way down. If there's no node, then you don't use that edge, right? Um, I think that's basically the idea, and then you just sum it all up because it's just the number of edges times two, right? Because you have to go in both directions. There's no minimization. I think that I've seen. I don't remember if it's lead code or maybe it was code force because it's a little trickier. I think there is a variation where, you know, uh, you 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 end at the last node. So then in that case, you have to do like some. I mean, it's the same idea, but a little bit trickier on the edge case of, you know, you have to choose one path to not return from, right? So that one of them is the last node, but that's not the case here. So that should be more straightforward. So the kind of, let's, let's take a look, let's explore that. So basically now, we're, as we're saying is, um, and I may, I, I gone, so I, I'm also like thinking it through with this one. So I apologize if this is not as clear as, you know, my thought process is because it's not, I'm thinking and proving it in my head as we're talking about this. But now we reformulate the problem, which allow us or for me to at least have an idea of an attack, right? Instead of whatever this stuff is saying, we're basically now saying, okay, on a recursion, if there's a node in the um, descendant of that edge, then we plus, we add two and do a recursion, right? Someone like that. So I think we can be good. Um, yeah, let's let's try to do something like that, right? So then here we have let's just say traverse, um, and we have a node, of course. Um, I like big ends, as you know, maybe. And then now let's let's uh, convert this to uh, an edge list, or but I guess it is already an edge list, but to an adjacency list, right? Is this zero index? It is zero indexed. So yeah. And we always start at zero in this case. Okay. Because in theory, I don't know, if you're trying to minimize it or something, uh, you may want to start somewhere else maybe. Hmm. Yeah, big, well, yeah. I mean, yeah, you can minimize it because for example, with one case is that it doesn't go for zero, then you don't have to go to back to zero, right? Meaning if for example, only two and three are, uh, are, are true, then you don't have to go back to zero, but in this case, you still have to go back to zero. So, so we can uh, hold back to it. Um, yeah. Okay. So Ben, huh, this is a happy face. <laughs> no, uh, sorry, happy face, but yeah. Um, okay. So then now we go for child in year of node, something like this, and maybe we want to return. 
what do we want to return? Well, we want to return a total for sure. And then maybe whether that this path has, has any child, children? Yeah, something like that, right? I'm trying to think whether I can... Inc so what I was thinking about is whether I can say the same thing, but in a more optimized way. Because what I want to do is just something like, um, you know, return two things. Um, return whether there is a child in this path uh, with an apple. And also some of the costs, right? Something like that. And I was trying to think whether you can encode the sum of the cost in the Apple stuff in general. But and, and maybe you can, but I think it, it made it a little bit more com too complicated in my head. So that's why I was like, okay, uh, let's not do that. Okay, so if node is none or if len of e of node is none then we return force and then zero say right so then here we have um let's just say r and cost is equal to traverse if i could spell correctly traverse child um if r then total at c yeah And then we also have to do something like <sighs> mm. I think we could do two plus if uh, okay. I think this is mostly good, but uh, it's a little bit awkward. But basically, if total is greater than zero, meaning so that already means that there's a children. Um, somewhere down there or has apple of node then we return true total plus two right because now the, the two is just the edge that we are popping back to the parent um else oops, we return force and then zero i suppose because then that means that um yeah, that means that there's no children with with any nodes. And then now we do a traverse of uh, zero. And then that's pretty much it, maybe. Hmm. I hope this is right. Maybe it's not. Oh, why would, why would this be true? But also, uh, oh, yeah. Mm. Oh. Uh, I have to I have to check the parent. I am a dum dum. New. This is a tree. Okay. Oh, oops. Okay. <laughs> now we got it wrong, but that's okay. Um, are we off by one? Oh, we are off by one. Or off by two, I guess, because um, at zero. Uh, because basically we're returning from the zero's perspective, but we or, or we're returning as if we're going from a, a negative one to zero or something like that. So then now we have to uh, now we have to look at it from the perspective of zero. So that is going to be c minus two, except for uh, okay, fine. If r return c minus two otherwise just return zero yeah yeah i mean i i was just trying to think that i can do this in a slightly cleaner way but maybe not let's give it some bit all right i mean good on the first try even though that looked really kind of bad 10 16 is today's uh streak how did i do it last time well, i guess last time i got it did the same way except for with cash um, okay, I know what I did that time. And then this time, I, I guess I'm trying to do it with one, um, one recursion instead. And that's maybe why it got a little bit more complicated. Um, maybe the other way is easier. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, 
hopefully, you know, if you've gotten this far, uh, if you've gotten this far, uh, today, I just came back from the outside from the code, so I'm a little bit, I don't know, slow and maybe tired. But what I was going to say is that, yeah, I mean, if you've gotten this far, if you've done enough tree prompts and recursion prompts, this is just going to be all like the same of them, which is that it is linear time, linear space. Even just creating the, the uh, adjacency list will be a uh, uh, linear space. And this is, of course, linear space on a stack um, and time because you have to look at each node at most, at least once, that is. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.